Why the heck does this camera keeps on changing its ISO setting? Why? <laughs> okay, let's see here. And I'm gonna do a one uh, 200 shutter speed 2.8 and there you go, it changed the ISO to auto again. All right, T guys, so I'm having a problem with my camera with the Canon EOS R with the ISO turning to automatic, which I was doing some a little bit of research on it. It says that there is a bug on it, and fortunately, I dig deeper. I Dig, dig, dig deeper, 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 deeper. <laughs> so I dig deeper to see what's really wrong with my camera. And uh, it says that it's not the camera itself. It says the trigger for the lights. I have the Canon, or the, this is the X1T Godox. And it says that the firmware of that one is technically not compatible with the Canon EOS R. So I thought my camera was broken ever since. And um, to be honest, I was getting frustrated why the ISO keeps on changing to automatic. Before, well, most of the photographer, they used the multi-function bar right here, this area. And uh, what it does is that you could change your ISO on that one. But I changed mine to the color temperature for my white balance, which is the Kelvin uh, white balance, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right. So um, I've been looking to blog and um, what do we call this? Um, there is the forums and community and what. They're saying that... Technically, it's not the camera that has the problem, okay? It's this guy that's causing the problem to change your ISO. It's uh, technically the trigger or that uh, what the Godox company has. And uh, I have here the X1T for Canon. And uh, it's technically the firmware, all right? So... To see first the firmware, you have to have your camera off. Alright, and I'm gonna put it up as close as I can here. If I could focus it in there. So, before you turn it on, you have to hold on to this, uh, the mode button. Right? And you turn it on. So, right there, if you guys could see, mine is version, uh, I don't know if you guys could see it. Right there, but I'll write it out. Uh, my version here is version 24. So, and uh, what you just need to do is just update this one. And uh, I think that should fix it. Hopefully it does. I just have, it's just messing up stuff uh, that I'm doing. Alright, so, but I'm going to have you guys see first what happened on my shoot um, last weekend and I did a test run as well here at home with the kids with the girls and uh, okay let's see here and I'm gonna do a one uh, 200 shutter speed 2.8 and there you go it changed the ISO to auto again I don't know if you guys saw that one it happened again so uh, I was trying to record it so you guys, I could show it to you guys. Unfortunately, the OBS, well, I did not press the correct button for, it's supposed to be start recording, but I press uh, start virtual or something. <laughs> so anyway, let's have a look at the p photos and uh, hopefully, you know, you guys could see what's going on and uh, everything there. All right. All right. So. Let's see here. So this was the photo I did at Sundry last Friday. And uh, it's an engagement shoot, alright? So this is what frustrates me about this. 
um, it just changed the ISO automatically or it goes to the function or go to automatic I usually have my ISO to 100 or 200 or as low as 400 if I need to okay now right here um, this I already edited so I could send it to the client now if you go to the details here if you guys could see right here at the side this is the ISO speed, right? I got 250, 160, 160, 125. It's technically on that range, all right? Now right here, it changes to 1600. Why would you go to 1600, right? It does not make sense. And I have my lights here because this was, um, this shot was, uh, it was in a, uh, around the trees and it's really late in the evening, it's getting dark. So, it just turned like that. So, it frustrates me. But the, the look I was going for was like this, which makes sense. It was at ISO 100 and it's really sharp. And uh, I put a little bit of light in there because it's really dark because of the trees, right? And that just gets me thinking why it keeps on doing that and I think it's the camera is broken or something is wrong with the firmware on the camera but again I did my research and uh, that they're saying that it was the um, it is the uh, firmware on the trigger now here I took this one earlier and uh, I have the kids to sit down and it happened here again right there and let's see what happened with the ISO let's go to details it went to 1600 again with the with the light on so it doesn't make sense why would you go or why would you use a light and if you're just gonna go 1600 on it right so with that in mind the way you could update your firmware for your Godox trigger is that you just have to go to the website all right to Godox or to the Godox website or if you're here in Calgary and you bought your your product from Strobe Pro you could get that there okay and uh, I'm gonna show you how to install it and uh, upgrade update your um, firmware okay once on the website, do download the Godox G1 firmware upgrade software, as this one works perfectly for me. Once the download is finished, just extract the file and follow the installation instructions. Once done with the installation, go ahead and download the latest firmware for the X1T Canon. This should solve the compatible problem with Canon EOS R. Once done extracting the latest firmware, let's go ahead and run the G1 Godox software. After locating the file, let's go ahead and connect the transmitter while it's off and press upgrade. After the upgrade is done, make sure to disconnect before unplugging the USB cable. Alright, so I just finished updating the um, X1T uh, Godox here. And uh, while I was in their website, there is something that I saw there that I could be useful for mine as well. I'm going to check my other light. 
so that there are no malfunction as well like my V862 uh, I'm gonna update my firmware on that one as well um, to solve the compatible problem of new camera model EOS R the very first one so yes update your firmware on your lights so that your camera works very well okay now let's check if it updated to version 27 I'm just gonna close up you guys right here okay so I'm gonna hold the mode button there again and turn it on and turn it on it's version 27 right there i hope you guys could see it but it's 27 right there all right well it reset to the what do we call this to the factory setting so hopefully that fix everything and we will see what will happen later this week when i do my shoot for the um, basketball club all right, I'm gonna update the rest of my gear and uh, hopefully it fixed that. And I'm gonna give you guys an update uh, when I do that shoot again and hopefully it doesn't not change the ISO, all right? But yeah, let's go. All right, boys and girls, the next day. Oh, just enjoying the sun. Um, unfortunately, I forgot about the shoot I was gonna do yesterday with the promotional video for my friend as as a barbershop here in Calgary. And uh, I told him I'll do some a little bit of a photo shoot as well. And fortunately, I think this X1T Godox is... It's a no-no now. Since I just upgraded this one yesterday, I want to try it out before the main shoot uh, for the basketball one. Unfortunately, in the middle of the shoot, it reset itself to the factory setting. So all the groups went to 1 over 128. And uh, I'll show you guys all the photo that was taken on that time. I thought it was going smoothly. Um, but it was not so it was frustrating good thing I checked um, But yeah, I'm gonna get a new one today a different um, Unit well not unit. I think it's uh, the different um, Models that they release for this one But anyway the x1t Canon is a trash right now so Anyway, I'm gonna do that new shoot. Uh, I'm gonna do it with this new trigger and i'm gonna do a vlog on that one and hopefully i see you guys on that one and uh, anyway guys uh thank you guys very much for watching the vlog and again guys be productive but don't forget to live deuce enjoy the sun <laughs>